Oh, shit. Welcome to the show, Skits Podcast. Woo. I'm your host, Shane Kopke. I am here, as usual, with Tim Gage. That's me. Woo. And Kevin McNichol. Wait, am I Tim oh, Gage yeah. today? I don't know. Are you? I'm Shane Kopke. Happy Halloween, everybody. Wait, it's Halloween? Oh. Yeah, that's why we're dressed up, dipshit. I dress this way because uh, I'm dressed for the fucking election. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. Oh. I was on my way to a sex cult meeting. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, Kevin forgot to change. That's all yeah. it was. Yeah. Oh. I, which is actually funny because that's how your first oh. Halloween costume was. You just forgot to change out of work clothes. <laughs> what was that, what was yeah. that eyes wide shut type thing? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh. I, still, th- I oh. still think with the fucking, oh. uh, the whole robe yes. thing. You should have painted your face green and just been, went as Dark Kermit. It would have been great. Dark and Kermit and you should have you should have went as Dark Kermit Omega version and just had a cucumber that you would pop up every <laughs> once in a while. Is you know what I'm dick. saying? This is my <laughs> that is no, one of my no, favorite. This is my <laughs> massive cock. That is one of my favorite things from Omega. I love those ones. Those <laughs> Miss, so fucking Miss funny. Piggy loves where, it. Where when it'll I stick be like it in deep. these two chicks sitting on there and they're like, "Oh, look, it's Kermit. This is so innocent." And then you just lean back. <laughs> And they'd be like, what? What are I you doing? one of them said, I eat frogs. He's like, you ever had a vegetable too? <laughs> Pulls up a fucking cucumber and says dick. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, do you get it? The cucumbers is dick. Oh, so my God. Really? Last year, I don't know if you guys remember those that follow us, Shane uh, graced us with uh, a costume where he dressed up like me. And this year, I dressed up like him. I so I don't get it. I got him good this year. Because <laughs> he's... Sh- He's 100% straight. Tim, you actually look like you're just eating a person. <laughs> I am. That's how I got this uh, this costume. I ate a baby's head. That's mm-hmm. That fits your profile. Yeah, it's, God, that's why the I'm the mother so must be horrified. I, Tim, actually, I ate a baby. <laughs> actually, speaking of profiles, can you turn to the oh, side and show us back, yours? Baby back, baby back, ribs. Yep, as sad as I thought. Yep. <laughs> He's going to be a hockey player someday. <laughs> what, the baby you're holding? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, speaking of hockey. He's a big guy. Oh, we got a topic that Shane likes. Well, look, I'm, I'm just glad that fucking hockey has started up. It's, I mean, it's been, you know, almost a month in. Sports season, man, and everything's starting I up. I just, I don't, I don't, can't follow the other ones, man. Not anymore. When I was a kid, I could. I liked basketball in the 90s. Uh, it bores the shit out of me now. I don't like I just, any sports, man. I just it's don't stupid. think it's as good as it used to be. And then football, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, ever sports, since, sports have sucked for years. Yeah, ever, but fan. ever since liking hockey, I, I look at football and I go, it's too slow. Yeah. Right. Fucking I thing that. sucks. I get that. You know, and you don't mind hockey, though. No, no. You know, hockey's, Kevin, hockey's you, entertaining. You don't have to agree I just with him. am not really. I just you, don't watch you it. You can pull no, his dick out of No, he. he <laughs> I know that he. Did, Told did, you, I'm from a sex club. Did you ever play hockey with us when we played? I think maybe once back once in the day. Yeah, yeah, probably over at Jake's house. Yeah, yeah. Street in street hockey. Yeah, we hockey. play street hockey, Tim. Up on the roof of the uh, of the Quickie Mart or whatever. No, that w- yeah. that would have been great. <laughs> except it wasn't a Quickie Mart. It was yeah. the Quick Pick Mart. The Quick Pick. Yeah. Yeah. That's and right. then they sold cigarettes to a child. Hey man, yeah. can I get a Gatorade? No. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. He's like, I'm a break. <laughs> the guy gets up there and beats the shit out of. No, throws the ball. Yeah, that's what happened. They only brought one fucking ball. That pissed me off. I'm like, you're on a roof. Chops him with a fucking hockey. Stick out. My uh, girlfriend sucked 10 dicks in a row. No, was, <laughs> she said 34. 34 dicks, yeah. In a row? Yeah. <laughs> Who was it that said, was it Randall that said in a row? No, it was just some random guy. Oh, that yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, after the argument or something in the store, she's like, well, ah, fine, I'm going to go suck another dick. Dude yeah. just kind of follows her out. <laughs> he follows her out to the parking lot. Dude, that is, I, are the other two good? The I've seen se- parts of the second one. Yeah, the second one's Clerks too. got some yeah. good stuff in it. Yeah, I liked it. I didn't see three. What about three? Rosario D- Dawson well, dancing Rosari- was fucking awesome, dude. She's yeah. fucking gorgeous. Ooh, she was hot. She's still hot, and she's like, what, 50? Yeah, hey, you get to yeah. see her minge in, uh, oh, that, oh, I can't remember the one, but you see her shaved vagina in a movie with her in, uh, God damn it. Or maybe it's a stunt vagina. Oh, no, wait. it's really her, full frontal. Is it Alexander? Yes. Yeah, yeah. with Colin Farrell. No, I know, no, I know no, 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 not Colin Farrell. Uh. The, uh, uh, Colin my Farrell was, uh, God, the guy was in, it was in uh, um, Jesus Boy oh boy It's one of those nights it's, I'm, I got Shane brain <laughs> <laughs> And you're taking a picture That's good <laughs> I don't know why you're I'm retarded. taking a picture well, I was taking cock pictures earlier I wanted to see if oh, I had yeah? Shane's dick too <laughs> Wow you would have <laughs> It really, didn't work You would have really impressed yourself <laughs> 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 
No, it's the, the the actor that was in um, that played all the multiple personalities in that Shyamalan flick. Split? Oh, uh, split. Yeah, McAvoy? it's uh, McAvoy. Yeah. McAvoy and her. And oh. he said something how he really thought a shaved bush looked really nice. And he was a con man or something like that. Ah, I haven't seen that one. And Rosario Dawson. I remember remember when Mr. Skin was like a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. Does that even Do still you, exist? Yeah, I, I assume it does. Yeah. Trance um, is the name of the movie. Trance. Tim, Trance. did you ever look on Mr. or uh, know who Mr. Skin was? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it tells you the exact moment in a movie when yeah. you get to see a actor or actresses. Well, it's mostly it's actresses. usually actresses. Yeah, yeah it's like it. Yeah, he's a dude, and well, not into dudes. Well, he, I don't even know that it there are has those the of us one. that would like to see Henry Cavill's cack. Okay, I'm just saying. How would you not want to? I mean, I don't he's, want to. he's probably the least likely to ever show it too, from what I understand. He hates sex scenes. Well, he's a kind of a, actually like a nerd in real life. Yeah, he oh, is. Oh, yeah. He's a big Warhammer 40K nerd. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's a yeah. huge nerd. I think that's why I love him even more. Speaking of a huge nerd, this is cool. one thing that I, I forgot about. Pull up the article uh, where they're fucking talking about J.D. Vance, his magic uh, deck that he played. They were fucking ripping about on this. him for that. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, he, he chose he a fucking cheater magic. card, basically. No, it's Yagmoth's Bargain. Oh, yeah, they said like his card. 1997, it, yeah, 98. He's, they said that the card says a lot about him no. as a person. Yeah, it, it's, like it's like ridiculous. Like, it's fucking look, stupid. When it was out, it was legal in this in whatever it was, type 2 or whatever the fuck it was, like the, like Tim's diabetes. Um, I'm not Tim. I'm Shane. Uh yeah, I think the rest of that blob behind it says otherwise. See, look, it says, J.D. Vance plays Magic the Gathering, and his favorite card could reveal GOP candidates' dark political well, ambitions. <laughs> it's a fucking magic card, you stupid <laughs> moron. They're pulling out all the stops, aren't they? <laughs> it's down to the look wire. Look that shit. Yeah, they've really got nothing. These so, people are stupid. So the card, look at them all laughing. His like, shit's <laughs> brown. Oh, my God. This tells us what he's going to be like when he's a vice president. So, so the card's called Yagmas Bargain. He played it when he was like 13, yeah, right? It is right here. And oh Yagmas Bargain, I mean, it is a super powerful card. Skip your draw step, and you can just pay one life to draw a card, right? Yeah. But... The thing is, though, they, he 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 was. I remember this an, card. Yeah, he did an interview uh, talking about the magic, and they were like, "So why did you quit?" He's like, "Well, I don't know. When fifteen comes, and you playing magic doesn't get the girls." <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like, "Yeah, so, so yeah, I quit. I can't get girls. Yeah, no shit." So yeah, story of your life, huh, Shane? So, <laughs> I no, actually, I didn't play until well after high school. Yeah, that's when the pussy stopped. Tim, what if it never started? <laughs> Wow! Wow! How uh, sad. Did but, we just get a uh, an admission yeah, here? Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. but I, I I find it funny that they would attack him on that. They're also <laughs> they'll they'll attack on him. But they're they're anything. also attacking him on on the fact that they think that well everyone's going to think what a douchebag because he played magic and it's like actually there's that, actually a lot of fucking people that makes play. him more relatable. Yeah, actually, that's the thing. That's the th- that, At least you grow up in a middle. Class family and work at McDonald's. Yeah, and struggle yeah, yeah. and the McDonald's the challenges of what it yeah. is and all that other nonsense we keep hearing. Well, out. It's just and then fucking over. I think someone dude. posted a picture of Kamala and they're like, "See, it proves that she worked at McDonald's." And it was just her head photoshopped on another body. Uh, yeah, I saw that too. That was ridiculous. Like, on a white girl, no yeah, less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Oh, I know. And you know what's even more fucked up? The white girl. I looked. She's I looked dead. into this. She died of cancer, and that picture was. Her obituary picture. Oh shit! That oh, fucked. Shit. Up. I didn't know that. That's I mean, yeah. fucking great. That is pretty oh sad. That that's, that's yeah. oh, that's why there can't be no re- repercussions that, from that. That's, oh, that yeah. is pretty sad, though. That your highlight is working at McDonald's. It's even sad as your legacy <laughs> know, is right? left on a uh, vice president. Yeah, is using your photo to Photoshop her face on. And usually, when people yeah. Photoshop some famous person's face onto a body, it's usually naked. Yeah, well, usually. We could get into that. Well, no, we shouldn't get into yeah, that. Let's get into it. Well, there's a guy that got arrested for. Uh, oh, this is so bad. What is it? I don't know it? if I want to continue this Go conversation. Ahead. He will Look, use. Look, is it as bad as the whole cadence thing? Uh, yeah, it's up there. <laughs> okay, let's go. Because he will. Uh, <laughs> he was. He got arrested for child pornography. Okay. I don't know if we can say that on this or not. Yeah, you can we? say the word. Yeah. So, or just but say what he CP. was doing is he yeah, was yeah, actually CP creating works. child pornography using AI. Family members would Hot. send pictures of their children. Like uncles and dads, and would send pictures of their children to him, and he would manipulate the photos to make child pornography for them to see, for them to, and then oh, sell dude, it back to them. That's messed up, man. Who do you like? Who's the worst one in this? 
Right, exactly. You know right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the, the guy they interviewed him in jail and was like, "Yeah, so I'm getting paid thousands of dollars to take these images and use an AI program to create these these pornog- child pornography." Well, and usually, it's the dad or or it's the uncle or it's a family member. It's like ninety percent of these are family, family members. members you, these I in. mean, you do got to realize God. that, like statistically. When it comes to like child murder, child, it's rape, someone in the tra- family. You know, it, it's someone, family. It's disgusting. Or, or, really or close super to the close family. to the yeah, family. Yeah. But it begs the question it's also crazy. is like the legality of it. It's AI. Well, generated. that's what I was gonna say. The legality of it. It's hard to like. What do you like? Who's you, the victim here? Well, there, there's a company that makes sex dolls mm-hmm. out of like I think Japan. Yeah. That mm-hmm. are children. Oh my god! No, oh. Dude. Yeah. Oh. So let's get again, into a dicey conversation. Well, uh, I don't know. Of right. course. Hey, pull that up, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe we can do this without a visual. Uh, I, I mean, I, I could. I don't just know why I brought it up, but that's such a fucking post-election mode right now. <laughs> such a, a disgusting, I don't know, avenue to get into to make it a business out of. But at the same well, yeah. time. But what do you do to the legality side of it? That's right. the thing. I mean, the guy's obviously in jail for it for possession of child pornography. But but how? That's the thing. How yeah. is it? It's that, AI generated because it's AI generated. It's not real. He doesn't have actual photos of these yeah. children. They weren't technically victimized. Yeah. However, it's they go still after the family member that, sending those you know, informa- sending that information in and retaining those images although, back. I think though that there have been some uh, successful cases of um, women who have brought like exes to court uh-huh. that have done that that have made AI versions of yeah. them well, I heard uh, and i think it's because of the likeness it has nothing to do with the legality of the the porn right. itself gotcha. I, I think there were st- there's some teachers doing that with students as well jesus what the fuck? like yeah and it, believe it or not a um, this is kind of related to there was a uh, uh, in uh, in uh, a nearby town they found these buttons around from a, a graduation party that had a kid on it in a bathtub, but that had been superposed in, into a superimposed, uh, superimposed onto a stripper pole. Because superposed has like a weird sex yeah. act on its own. And so, so you got a, a, a kid that's you know in a bathtub, made by the parents and handed out to other students. Seriously, and what said, the fuck is wrong well, with guys, people? Dude. And it was, uh, the thing is, the parents were okay with it. The student that it represented was okay with it, and the police didn't know what to do about it because everybody was okay with it. Yeah, it was involved. Well. Isn't that fucked up, That's though? So do you fucked guys up. remember like all the controversy that was happening on YouTube at one point, where it would be like parents that would do bath time, and they would just turn off the fucking comments because it's all just creepy. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's fucking I, mean, I, and, 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 and they shit would like make that. millions of dollars off of their children, yeah. basically exploiting their children. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And they they would also be like, oh, it, my kid opening up uh, presents, but they would have them like you know dress like, topless straight, or whatever. Yes, you know? exactly. Yeah, and oh because they're goodness. underage, it's yeah. like it's fine yeah. to, for them to be. You know what? I, yeah. It's like and and there was a bunch of those channels. Yes, uh, I remember. There watching, was one that was huge. Yeah, I remember and, there was like a news thing about it. You know, it was. I, well, yeah. I learned about it like listening to like podcasts. And I'm yeah, like, no, they the were talking. Yeah, fuck? like yeah. I know. Uh, what was I came it? across uh, this on TikTok. Yeah, uh, I think well, uh, that shows more about your algorithm. That's well, what I'm saying. I think uh, <laughs> uh, well, Tim Pool and uh, someone else were talking about it on one of the. the See, I learned about it on Legion of Skanks. Yeah, they were making fun of it. But, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, how can you not make fun of it? It's, but it's fucking still fucking crazy. Twisted. Yeah. Well, because that that again, right there, it skirts the line of what's legal and what's not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It blurs the line as much as possible. There was the dude in fucking. Oregon that because legally speaking in Oregon there's no law against walking around naked yeah right? that's what I mean yeah you there can expose a, yourself so, to children so there was a guy that. Uh, there there was it's a, like as long as you're not you're not like fucking hard right or yes something. yeah as long as you're not aroused it's or fun. touching yourself in a yeah yeah uh, but this guy knew the laws and when bus time would come in the afternoon would hey, go kids. outside naked Jesus wait wait hey yes. kids right, see I wouldn't do that <laughs> Tim Good try. <laughs> good try. <laughs> there we go. It's a good attempt. That's better. Shane, what are you doing? I don't sound anything like that. <laughs> you do when you're talking to little kids. I got kids. something oh, yeah, for I go, you. I go, no, hey, kids, kids, what are you doing? Hey, I got something for you. It's real tasty. Yeah, I you sound, kids like popsicles. All of a sudden, I sound like I'm an asshole from I'm New York. I'm a little kid, too. <laughs> <laughs> Niagara Falls. <laughs> what? I don't know. What, I don't know. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> the word Why did that sound good to you? <laughs> it sounded good, the New York accent. <laughs> Niagara Falls. <laughs> I'm now 
having... not wrong, but at the same time, <laughs> I'm now having a little less... out of there, bud. But <laughs> I, yes, not... that will be used again. <laughs> I'm now having less of a problem with what you're doing <laughs> and focusing all on this Niagara Falls nonsense. <laughs> so, Niagara Falls. Niagara what the Falls. fuck, dude? I like that. <laughs> They're uh, eating the dogs. <laughs> did you ever? Did you ever get a hold of that other podcast? <laughs> I I sent a message to him, a uh, uh, fa- or uh, email, but I haven't heard back yet. Hey guys, hit me back. Just to got chat. It, got you, it. Your biggest fan. <laughs> this is Stan. God, I hope someone hits him. I really do. I hope somebody. I hope one of the guys from that podcast just sees you on the street and just socks you in the face. I don't even know if they live near around. I here. don't care. Oh I, this is my fantasy, <laughs> to, and they do. They teleport in and just boom. How you dare you email us? Even though we asked back. you to email Between us, you burping and blowing into my fucking face, and her stank ass breath blowing in my face. I don't as think well. I've burped and little garbage in mouth in my fucking face. It's so fucking foul. God, you guys fucking stink. You're you foul. and your steak burritos, dude. Jesus. That's what I should put They're the other so hand good. This is a fucking muchas gracias steak burrito in this yeah, one. Yeah, and then I would have just row, fucking row, eaten row, it. Row, row, row. I would have been like, yeah, bring that hand over this here. This is so good in my belly. Oh, let's go a little yeah, lower there. Why is the belly? Yeah, that's I, a good burrito, you too. not very... You're not very good at this. <laughs> I don't even. I'm working. It's a character in progress, but I tell it's you, not by the a time good I'm character. done, <laughs> the it's going to be terrible. fantastic. It's it's not. <laughs> it's Would you like to come to my sex dungeon? Hey ho! God, I, seriously, you should have painted your face green. <laughs> Would have been great. Well, we all have ideas, but yeah, you know, no. I, and I, me being dressed for the election, we could get into. We live near where arson has been happening. Uh, yeah, oh my yeah. God! Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for bringing it up. So yeah, it's um, fucking great. This is one of the reasons why I was made like wow. national news. Well, like I got the idea to dress like th- this for the the show, and then like two days later, I hear that. And I'm right. like, yeah. What the fuck? I'm like, well, <laughs> probably it makes more sense now. Shit's so in the fan, man. Here, here in Vancouver, Washington, uh, At, Clark and County, in Oregon, and in Oregon and Multnomah County, they believe that they're some- actually both linked. Connected. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, That's well, what apparently means. the car there was a car seen on on camera, and it's the same car, I guess. A Volvo. Uh, a, a Volvo. A dark colored Volvo. A Volvo. <laughs> wow. See, now you're just going into the character of Tim. Was yeah. that the labia the, model? Yeah. Uh, the labia model. A Volvo. <laughs> a labia model Volvo? Yeah. Okay. Just keep your eyes out for uh, a dark colored Volvo. <laughs> but yeah, so we got yes. uh, the ballot boxes peeled. have been set on fire, and um, oh. it looks like uh, they think that the person it looks who like did arson, it guys. was an experienced it's arson. was an experienced metal worker and may be planning additional attacks. Oh, well, they well, actually got a suspect too, huh? Uh, I didn't well, know they no, had they that. Ha- they have a profile. They have a profile. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's not yeah. the same thing as a suspect. They said well, the s- suspect is a w- is uh, a white male, age thirty to forty, who is balding or has very short hair. Uh, police previously said a surveillance video showed the man driving a black or dark colored two thousand one or to two thousand four Volvo. Nope. Thank S60 you, Volvo. Volvo. Uh, the vehicle did not have a front license plate, but it did have a rear plate with unknown letters or numbers. It's an alien well, spaceship. I was going to say, is it an alien language? The, uh, the incendiary, it was in Arabic. <laughs> the, the, okay, this is how you know it was a leftist. The incendiary devices were marked with the message, Free Gaza, according to a law enforcement well, that's official how you do it. who spoke to the Associated Press on the sure condition of anonymity. The guy set himself on fire, Free Palestine. Yeah. yeah. Dude pulled a gun on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, he, <laughs> dude, when we watched that video, that was so hilarious because we're like... Stop burning yourself, <laughs> yeah. or I'll shoot you. Yeah, Put it yeah, down right? now. <laughs> Put the fire down. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is going to happen? I know. First Jesus. off, drop it. First off, he's not <laughs> responding because he's dead. <laughs> drop the fire. Put it down. <laughs> so stupid. You're going to hurt someone else, <laughs> sir. I mean, he's dead. Are no. you having a crisis right, right You're now? You're going to scuff up the the pavement, sir. <laughs> I think this guy is having a crisis over Just here. Puts a round in him. <laughs> like, That'll get the fire. Jesus. Stop throwing fire. Oh, this fire is tougher than I thought. I'll have to shoot it again. I'm calling in for backup. <laughs> so uh, this one's out of control. Fucking hellfire so, missile comes in. Uh, it looks Apache like Apache backup. So out, out of these ballot boxes, uh, uh, there were either there were hundreds of damaged or destroyed. That was on the one in Vancouver. The yeah, the Vancouver box. That's the Vancouver one. The, one. the Oregon uh, one, three like, ballots. Yeah. Three ballots. Yeah. And they were so, able to identify all three for. I, I think they've been uh, able to identify most of the ones in Vancouver. I'm not, but sure. they're also they also toss out uh, 
a message saying that if you use this in this time frame, right? Come in, yeah. Let us know, and yeah. we'll check to see if yours is accounted for. I thought they were supposed so to be So we can find out who ballots. you voted for beforehand. So we and then we can change it later. Yeah. We can yeah. change it later for you. Well, but, here's the other thing. But, you know, change your obviously, mind for you. only... Uh, I got to say this, though. I knew this was either what Antifa or some other leftist idiot that would have done this because... Well, let's just be honest. Trump's winning. <laughs> well, and also... <laughs> and they're starting to freak out. The, here's uh-huh. the, the thing. killing he, it. The he doesn't like Puerto Rico. No, oh, that's Tony wait, Hinchcliffe. Yeah, yeah. That's to- yeah, yeah. And Tony Hinchcliffe is and, also a comedian. And also... Who made a comedic joke. I'm just saying, he's and, got some against Puerto Rico, and, and that's a huge con- uh, constituency. But he doesn't, actually. Because what word are you looking for? Constituents. 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 So, uh, actually, uh, Tony Hinchcliffe... You need a thesaurus. His joke was actually referring to the fact that uh, the Biden administration is not letting... Uh, Puerto Rico burn or get rid of their their garbage that are in their these landfills and it's like oh, the landfills are literally like overflowing and it's no. literally caught. I think yes. you're incorrect there. No, it's actually uh, that's 100. Uh, uh, Trump hates Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, I think Tim's right on this. one. And his words were coming out of Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah, and he yeah. actually told Tony to say that. It's like, he said, Tony, "Let's ah, really get this this group fired up. So, I want you to bag on uh, Puerto Rico. <laughs> I want you to tell them how much they are trash." I want them to know that we're going to... The wall just got 10 feet taller. (laughs) You need a wall when the ocean's blocking it. That that ocean's not working. No, he's like, like, Tony, Tony, I can't say this out loud myself, but you as a comedian, you can say it. They're both gay. That Tim and Kevin are both gay. So while we're on the subject... They're both gay. While we're I on the subject, my opponent's Tony gay. Hinchcliffe has definitely uh, Dude, caused a lot some of backlash. people were uh, like, there are a bunch off, of fucking pussies that off, can't take a joke. Most people realize, hey, this guy's a comedian; he's making jokes. Yeah, if these jokes were said at the fucking what is the the the, the presidential one that they do every John year, John Stewart actually backed him up. Yeah, because yeah, it's a fucking well, comedian. Yeah. But, he actually laughs. Like, That's the, hilarious. No, apparently, yes, all the show. And actually, it was a. The, I watched the set; it was funny. Yeah, and apparently, a bunch, tons of Puerto Ricans are coming out saying like, "We thought it was funny." Yes, because they're <laughs> like, hey, "Ha ha, we yeah, get it. Only, you're a comedian." Yeah, and this one now, Puerto if he came Rican out lady as was, a politician and was like, right. we need to get rid of Puerto Ricans." Yeah, yeah. But like, uh, one of the Puerto on, Rican man. people were saying, uh, "This lady, she was Come like, on. she was like, the only people that are, are offended by this are are white liberals." Yes. You and know, they're usually uh, women. Yeah. Well, it, usually women. Like it's the women of the view. Yeah. In, in, in <laughs> defense know? for Tony as well, like a lot of people who didn't know he, who he was well, now they, do. They also put him up there as Kill Tony. Yeah. That's actually how they labeled him. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. We have a comedian, Kill Tony. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, that's his show. His, and the Kill Tony part is referring to he's Tony yeah. Hinchcliffe. It's no better Never press mind. than that, though. The guy is, no, you know, the guy is like, uh, yeah, he's going to skyrocket. And actually, the thing is, he didn't say anything so crazy well, that you'd be like, oh, that I th- didn't come. I think it's he said comedian. far worse. I think we actually yeah. had video well, you of, got in trouble for it. of the uh, the actual joke. Oh, really? So we're going to watch all of it? No, it's just. Oh. It is absolutely wild times. It really, really. There's a volume on that. And, uh, Probably come up. You know. There's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating you're, you're island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. I could have right. a little bit better. But... Okay. We're getting there. Now, again, normally I don't follow the national anthem, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly a perfect comedy setup. That's true. So, so well, yeah. It's... Here's a little back his- or backstory on Tony Hedgecliffe. He literally bought a fucking Corvette and got a vanity license plate that says, I roast. Yeah. That's, that's what the, he does. He's yeah. a roast comic, He's a damn man. good one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's, good. that's probably the gayest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it's pretty gay. But he also gets a lot of shit because uh, a lot of comedians call him gay. Oh, because his voice. Yeah. Yeah. It, and it's hilarious. There was a guy that went up uh, while on Kill Tony and then did a Tony Hinchcliffe impersonation in front of him <laughs> that was spot on. Nice. And Tony's just like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of his videos coming across my... Uh, yeah, t- t- the show... Tony's hilarious. great. The show's good. Uh, I love the show. I guess it's uh, the number one rated... It's a gong show it's, type it's thing it's as the, well, it's isn't super it? super popular. With a panel, yeah. and they all basically... Somewhat, but it's, yeah. the, it's the number one rated uh, live podcast. Yeah. They put it out live. That's cool. When they initially put it out, right? So what, what the idea behind the show is, uh, usually there's four panelists. 
You've yeah. got Brian Redband and Tony that are yeah. on it every fucking They're week. They're the regulars, yeah. Uh, and then they'll usually have two to three other panelists. Like, you'll get uh, comedians like Joe Rogan, uh, uh, Ron White, uh, the Legion of Skanks were on it once, um, and just various other comedians like will be on it. And what they do is they pull a name from, like, uh, a ball or it's whatever. Like, I think it's something like that or it's like a raffle. A bucket. Or That's yeah, a bucket. They, they yeah, use yeah, a, bucket, a bucket, right? And then when they pull your name, so a, a comedian will go up there yeah. and they get one minute to try to get the you know yeah. see how well they're doing and and yeah, some of these it. people are comedians and some of them are just random people. Well, there was a guy that, that, uh, that don't have any real experience. There, there was know? a guy at Madison Square Garden that he's like, no, my friend just told me to put my name in here. Yeah, and got called up. Never has yeah. done any <laughs> fucking anything. Yeah, cool. uh, there's and a lot I think of went up there and did pretty well, yeah. which is so crazy. He does a lot of shows at Madison Square Garden. No, uh, he's done two, I believe, all sold out. That's well, yeah. no shit. It's yeah, dude, his, uh, dude, it's it's like I said, it's the number one like it's the number one comedy podcast. Yeah. And they, um, all, they say that. They say if you if you sell out Madison Square Garden, you're doing something right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, dude, I'm, you fucking, made who it. was it? You Louis C.K. Didn't he do four nights in a row sold out? Oh, I believe it. And yeah. Yeah, I, I think I the first it. one to do it, though, was Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah, Dice. Because he was the oh, first. Oh, man, he was huge back well, in the day. Well, he was so yeah. different than the rest of the comedians because he was more of a rock star than a comedian yeah. at the time. Yeah, very arrogant, but that's what made him so the good. Dice Man. Well, that was the character. Yep. You got to remember yeah. that. He's what Andrew Levenstein? No, yeah. what is no? What's his real name? It's not I, Levenstein. I think that's what it was. Uh, I think he had it right. But anyway, um, it, Dice used to be a character that he would do in the middle of the show. Right. And then he find somebody it's like to, uh, Larry the Cable Guy. Oh yeah, no, that was a uh, character that he would call into a radio show for yep. with. And then he started doing it on stage. And then I forget somebody told him like, why don't you just drop the yeah, rest of it? That's to that's that, killing yeah. it. But yeah, uh, what is it? What is his real it's name? It's been dropped from the internet. He bought it out. P- type in real name after Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, I was gonna Silverstein. Is it Silverstein? Yep. I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah. You're right. Andrew Dice Clay death. Yeah, he died, dude. No, he didn't. He's yeah, still Andrew alive. Clay. Andrew Clay Silverstein is his real name. That, he's a good writer too. He had those yeah. those poetry books that were really nice, <laughs> dude. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> that's what I mean. St- so, ends yeah, he's still around. So that's that's what I mean. Uh, yeah, you're <laughs> light what, in the what, attic. What was that guy? Shell Silverstein. Um, but uh, that was why what I mean by rock star because he would have all the the fucking uh, the nursery rhymes that he would do, and people would be like, "Hickory do those, dickory do those. Dock. This yeah. bitch was sucking my cock. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. You'd say that in the kindergarten playground and all that shit. It was great. Dude, I, re- I remember. Had all the kids yeah, rolling. Because <laughs> it, it was, it, uh, it was a ra- right around the time. Not kindergarten. It was probably right around first, second, second grade. first grade. Yeah. yeah. Right in that time frame. Well, once, start once the hearing uncle stopped touching you. Uh, you know, that's got to happen first, yep. right? You got to move yeah. on from that. Too old. And you're like, ah, oh, yeah. man. Yep. Cool. I, I reached the ripe old age of six. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Moving Finally, on to I your little get sister. Out of here. Up oh, retirement times right around the corner. Indeed. No, we'll just let that play. Out. Um, Indeed. Yeah, we kind of shut up for that one. But but we? yeah, man. Like and on like shows like The View and all these other shows like CNN and stuff, people are just having this fake fucking outrage over it, and you could tell yeah. it's fake fucking outrage. So bad that the president himself had outrage, and you know what? You heard oh, what he yeah. did. Oh yeah, he called all Trump supporters garbage. Yeah. And then tried to backtrack, and now uh, all the propaganda networks are trying to help him backtrack yeah. and spin it. Well, so we're I don't know if you saw there, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. how it, it was almost impossible to find Joe Rogan's podcast with Trump on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that they, was a debacle. Google wasn't made it, it yeah. fucking yeah. like impossible to find. Even it's though still it's hard like, to find. Yeah, which is ridiculous. Um, this I, is what Google fucking does. I can time. find it now uh, a lot. I, I guess it it was yesterday, which will be two days ago for people yeah. listening to all this on yeah. release. Um, I, I guess like two days ago, it was still hard to find, and you know, YouTube was saying things to Joe, like, uh, "Yeah, we don't know what's going on." And like, of an hour later, after he bitched enough, they're like, "Yeah, we'll fix it." it took oh, is like that really what happened? Fi- like, he yeah. actually complained to yeah, YouTube. Well, yeah, he, he got YouTube on the phone. Well, yeah, I'm sure he could. So he just called up YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Hey, fuckface. You're doing something that I don't like. I'm sure he actually could get r- right a hold of people. Yeah, well, uh, literally. Well, 
I don't know. Actually, I don't know how those things work, well, but at the same time, no, they're like, if you, "Fuck you, dude!" So once no, he you, started putting out on X uh, yeah. a direct link to it because people uh, couldn't find it on yeah. YouTube. But also, once you get to a certain point, uh, yeah, subscriber Mr. wise, if uh, followers wise on YouTube, them, they would fucking pick right, right up. That's the thing. Once you get to a certain point on YouTube, you get access to like being able to call like certain people. There I know, to, but what I'm know. saying is, it's Tim, like we're not there yet. YouTube can no. simply just say no. They What's could? he gonna do? Uh, he could easily fuck it because that probably pull be his content that belongs to them. Uh, no, no, he could. Doesn't. He could do something like that. What, is, is, what would Joe's it cost now got him? enough money to fucking fight things like yeah, that. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and enough backing from other companies that and will help saying, out. They're yeah, kind of. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know if they're a superpower, but they are very powerful. Information oh, of course, oh, it's Google. Google, you dumb shit. Okay. Yeah, that's what Google I'm and the company that owns Google, which is I think ABC or what is it called? Oh, Alphabet. Alphabet. I, I guess the question I ask, uh, I'm asking is how much would they stand to lose if he pulled his his his, his show from them? Millions. Well, and yeah. people don't like losing millions. Yeah. Even uh, when they're making billions. Yeah. Because you got to remember, they make money off of the views and the. Oh ad, no, I know that. The, the ad revenue and stuff. Too. So he, he does have pull. Absolutely. Of course, okay. for sure. He's uh, the biggest fucking Spotify. podcast in yeah. the world. Why do you think Spotify paid him like millions of dollars? They paid him a hundred million for yeah. like two years. Exclusivity. Okay. Jesus yeah. Christ, I'm sorry. I'm just asking uh, questions. Can I not ask questions? <laughs> no, go ahead and ask <laughs> your stupid <laughs> fucking questions. Call him up. Call him up. Find out. Yeah, well, call, no. up, call up Rogan. Can you get Joe okay, on the phone, I'll, please? I'll, I'll, I'll give him a call because I got How his number on my phone. Because what are we doing wrong? I want to know. Yes, because I smoked through my nose, you dumb shit. Well, it's all, see, it doesn't translate. It's all cocaine. Well. Yeah. That's why. That makes more sense. Than it actually does make why sense. Why you're so fucking wired up yeah. every what? goddamn time. Woo! It's Just probably these. Mountains of cocaine. Yeah. Mountains, yeah. And mountains. energy drinks. Never so tried It's a cocaine. wonder your heart hasn't exploded yet. Probably, well, because I've never actually tried that. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I... Look, I did Ritalin <laughs> once in my life, and Ooh, I was like, Jesus yeah, I don't like that. That's a nightmare, yeah. dude. You want Ritalin? Fuck that, dude. Oh, my dude. God. Dude, that's how I fucked up my knee the first time. Oh I'm going to take apart the lawnmower and put it back together again. No, ah! I went, it's all wrong. It's all fucking wrong. I went, went down to Burnside. Uh, my friend Jake got some Ritalin, and he's oh like, here, do you want one? I'm like, no, not really. And then he finally talked me into it, and I was like, okay. And then we went to Burnside, and I'm skating and skating. I'm like, fuck, yeah, I'm flying. Blah. And then... Uh, this thing, I, 50, 50 grand around the elbow there. I've done like nine times in a row and I go up to do it one more time and the board goes out from under me. My shins are going to hit the fucking coping and it's like an eight and a half foot drop to the ground. Yeah. It's not an oh, easy one. No. Sounds and, like it's, fun. and it's to the flat. So I kick my legs out as, as quickly as I can to not fucking shin it on there and fall all the way down straight Yeesh. leg, straight leg on my right knee. And yeah, ow! That, that was not fun. I hear yeah, it might be getting torn yeah. down soon. No, Burnside won't get torn down. Really? They're taking the bridge out. Dude. I understand that it's not getting torn down, and it's not. It's, I've looked it up. It's uh, not getting torn down. From what I heard is because it's not. It's not a uh, city owned or anything like that. It, it was built by skaters. Yes, it's still yeah. not getting torn down. They're That's considering good. it a That's historic good place. That's fantastic news. But you won't. Uh, th- so the people won't be able to use it from like 2026 S- to 2030. So four years. Oh, so they're really? four years because they have to have a place to stage a lot of the stuff. Right. And what they're going to do is that this is one cool thing. The pillars that hold, held the old. They're going to leave them. They're going to leave them. Oh, that's, oh, that's cool. They're not going to use them to connect to anything. They're just going to leave them. They're just part oh, of the park now. That's kind of cool. They're gonna so that there. that's actually fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's might, a cool park. I might have to go skate there one more time before it can't skate it again. I would for a while. It. Oh no, it's a terrible idea. Yeah, it's not I a good idea. I almost broke my it, arm dude, there one time. It's the hardest concrete I've ever fallen on. You're forty something. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. It's like that. It's hard packed. Like it's really insane. Hard concrete, I've fallen yeah. on so many different types of concrete yeah. skateboarding over the years. There's no oh, nothing's man. harder than Burnside's yeah. concrete. I fucked up my yeah. tailbone pretty good there. I'm yeah. still feeling the repercussions dude, I, uh-huh. of it. Uh, Neil, who is it? Neil Hendricks. Yeah, Neil Hendricks, uh, pro skateboarder from Portland. Yeah. He's the guy that taught me how to drop in. And I remember telling him, like, after he taught me, I'm like, oh, man, you're not as much of a dick as everyone says you are. <laughs> and he's like, I have my moments, man. Burnquist like, is from, because I could have no, sworn. No, Bob Burnquist is from Brazil. Yeah, uh, there's, there's, there's quite a few I guys from Burnquist skated there a bunch. Oh, yeah, I said, I've seen, I, I'm pretty sure it was Bob that I saw skate there for a couple times. Yeah, he's, there. he skated yeah. there a bunch, but he, he, a was, lot a, of the pro he was also skated, traveling yeah. at the time. Uh, yeah. So he was skating everywhere. Like, yeah. he, I'm sure he, he's got footage from Philly side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's such an iconic You know where they got its name? Philly side? I have no idea. Because of Burnside, dummy. Yeah. 
Burnside was the first one that was like skater made, yeah. and then Philly it. side was made. But yeah, Burn- by skaters. But Burnside's so iconic that pretty much every dude Bob Burnside was skaters have what, skated there at one point or another. Bob Burnside was one of my favorites to watch because Bob Burnside, uh, Bob Burnquist, whatever his <laughs> name is, Bob Burn. I will just fuck you. <laughs> I'll just call him Bob Burnside from now on. No, Bob Burnquist was one Good of my favorite, Bobby Burnside. Fa- favorites to watch because his switch stuff was so amazing. Yeah, he's yeah. like him he's, being able to do BMX some BMX too, isn't he? No, no. He Who's was the guy that BMX. was a BMX and? Uh, uh, I, I have no idea. The only thing I or person I could think of is Sean White, who did snowboarding and fucking skateboarding. No, there's a BMX guy and skater guy that. Uh, no idea who that is. Well. It's oh, not well. Bob Burnquist. Huh. Huh. Maybe it's Bob Burnside. Burnside. It might be Bob Burnside. It's probably Bob Burnside. You know what? I think you're right. It is. I think it's, it's Bob, Bob Burnside. Burnside. Yeah. That's the guy that I saw skating Burnside was Bob Burnside. Bob Burn. Yeah. No, that's why they named it Burnside. There's it's a nice the park in, in St. Helens, too, isn't there? St. Yeah. They got a quarter pipe there that I like playing, the, playing a lot Saint of. St. Hel- I'm trying to think of. No, I'm thinking of. What's the one in between Salem and, and Portland? Oh, I haven't gone that further south. Fuck. Yeah, there was, there was a, a park one. that had a gigantic pyramid. And I mean gigantic. Like it was almost as high as it's easily as high as the ceiling oh fun it was ridiculous because yeah. there wasn't a lot of room on each side of it so i was like how do you get speed i did but it was insane to try to get speed to yeah you clear don't it. see people on the other side though no it was fucking ridiculous <laughs> dude it was like some kids like get the fuck out it, of the yeah, way it, it was yeah. it was weird yeah those one of the, the weirdest days, places man. so glad i don't do that shit anymore Oh, I loved skateboarding, but it, was it a lot of fun, fucking but destroyed my yeah, knees. It will kill your body for sure. Yeah, I mean, I had two ACL surgeries be- because of skateboarding. Well, I never did any surgery for it, but yeah, uh, see, I did fuck myself up pretty good. First, the uh, right one at Burnside on that, that fateful moment. And then I did the right one again uh, in Tualatin. I did a frontside flip down the uh, down the quarter pipe to the flat. And my, my right leg, my knee went down and touched my fucking... Uh, the uh, grip tape. Ooh, yeah, good stuff. That did not you didn't feel need that good. Skin anyway. And then the next one I did was uh, doing a switch hard flip down in Salem at the Salem Armory, which is the the fairgrounds. Uh-huh. Um, dude, I landed it like nine times in a row. I'm like, yeah, let's videotape it. And on video, the first try, you get to see my knee go. Ow! Like that. Cool. Ow. And that was my left knee, so now I've got oh. ACL tears in both knees and just continued skateboarding. Are you sure it's not from sucking dick? I'm pretty sure that's I mean, I don't know. It, Timmy, you tell me. You'd be the you'd be in the know. I have never sucked dick. I don't believe you. Yeah, that's right. I don't believe you. Hey, Kevin. What are you going to no, say to that? Change what change else are we going to talk about? Wow, that's so, <laughs> My dick's so big, it could double as a goddamn backhoe. Right? Is that what you want I'm in your mouth? A dick so big, it could double as a goddamn backhoe? Uh, you want to talk about how gay Shane is? I was going to say, shirt says 100% straight. Well, Tim, you put that on there. He's got this huge oral fixation. You know, this thing right here. And no, he like loves nicotine. guns so much because he's super excited about putting a hot load into some dude. Woo! He uh, can't wait to do that. Tim, Tim, I'm an equal opportunist when it comes to that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no, whoever's trying to oh, fuck so with me. Oh, so he's bisexual. He can't wait to put a hot load into someone else. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. You've, man, that's you're graphic. I'm, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say the F word. What are you going to say? I wanted to say the F word, but I'm, what I'm word trying is to refrain that? from using that F word. Why? Because I don't like to make uh, Kevin's heart... <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, have any harder. You don't like. You don't like to make Kevin's hard dick any harder. <laughs> Is that what you were gonna say? <laughs> say it slowly. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I think. I think Tim's new catchphrase is "Yas Queen." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Slay dear. Queen. What were we talking about now? Has some uh, some else come up? No, no, change the subject as quickly <laughs> yeah. as possible. So and moving uh, on. So it's something else that's been getting a lot of uh, Man, this stuff's heavy attention. I bet. I bet. It's but, not. Uh, it's been getting a lot of attention. Ben Shapiro was on Jubilee. At, uh, uh, that show is so fucking weird, dude. It is, and uh, so every once in a while they have something interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah, wasn't it before? Usually before just Shapiro totally crazy was, uh, people. It was. Uh, that other guy, the, uh, Charlie, 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 Kirk. Charlie Kirk. Yeah, he yeah. was on there too. Uh, but basically, it, it, on this show, there they have one person, like a conservative or a liberal, and up against twenty of the opposite. 
uh, of the political typically right. college typically. students. Yeah, and they're usually college students. Ah, and the stuff like dumbest that. of the dumb. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. What dude. did Kamala call them? Eighteen to twenty-five year olds. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, that's right. She did. But I've never called American people stupid. And then five videos of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I've never said Trump is a Nazi. I've oh, said he's Hitler. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God. Hitler was not a Nazi. No, uh, 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 I, I always thought he was the I big daddy Nazi. Did not see that coming. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? Oh, that's a joke. So, <laughs> so he was on this uh, this Jubilee show, and this this uh, uh, individual comes up, uh, basically a caricature of a man. It's a, a transgender trans man. Oh, trans man. Trans man who. I a trans am? Trans am. Really trying hard to, <laughs> to come off like a man. But um, but also, I guess, just ranted at him and didn't even let him, because you're supposed to be having a debate. Yeah, like, technically that's what those Wait, are. It's in just fairness to this person, monologue. I know guys that are caricatures of men. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that. yeah, you're not wrong. I've, uh, I've, had, I've had guys go, dude, you you should check out these chicks I fucked. And I'm like, I don't fucking care. Right. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. see you in a porn. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with you? It's true. It's like, I've had, why am I watching you fuck somebody? Yes, I've had Unless you I fuck say them, that, I don't I'm care. Like, <laughs> why are you wanting me to watch you do this? You see my asshole going open and close as I'm <laughs> pounding this bitch? You're like, like ah. I, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, why is that your thing? It's really shaved. I'll give you that. <laughs> but, uh, wow, do you use Nair? How is it so tan? <laughs> Do you get bleaching done? Is that what's going on? Does that whole sun sunbathing? So, so basically, this this person comes up and just rants at them. It's kind of it's it's been getting a lot of attention because yeah, it's, I've seen this one floating around yeah, a bit too. The rant yeah, is just r honestly pretty ridiculous, uh, but you'll see. Is we'll, this going to remind me of the Peter Bogosian shit? Uh, well. No, I mean, maybe, but uh, I think the Peter Bergman I mean, she looks are a just like a dude. Well, I will say that if I, that's the one we're talking about. This, I will this, this gentleman here. Say, say the thing that I like about Peter Bogosian. Mm -hmm. He knows how to handle people. He does. He does. He is brilliant at yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, dude. He, he tears people apart and yeah. it makes them look bad. Yeah. It, but he does it in the way, like, you know how you like to kill people with kindness? It's that way. Ah, that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah he's, he's very good, good at it. Well, because he's I also a you're okay. philosophy professor. So Believe me, you're not as really good, good at, at making arguments and tearing apart people's just arguments. Seriously, give it a shot. Watch a Peter Bogosian fucking flick. All right, I'll, I'll make sure not to check that out. You uh, should. He's all the guy right. that did all the fake So articles. we'll check this out now. Now, this is the segment that people have been talking about. Why is it on that number? I wonder why, Shane. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Look at this dude. Wow, okay, we're going to take this chair Look at that. Turn that chair around. <laughs> like a bro, Look at this my guy. All right. How's it going? Let's break open so, uh, up. His name question, is Shane. Men get pregnant. Men cannot get pregnant. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, definitionally. <laughs> definitionally. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do men experience SA? Sexual assault? Sure. But rarely. Got it. Yeah. What about the existence of trans men? What, what about the existence? Uh, do you mean women who believe that they are men? What are, what are we talking about here? Me, uh, women experiencing gender dysphoria? So my other question is, do you benefit from white supremacy Not, in any way, shape, or form? Keeps moving along. I, uh, in, it, I'm Jewish. going to need more specifics on what you mean by what yeah, yeah, Jewish. Jewish. Sure, please. So yeah, I'm that's uncomfortable, isn't it? Well, Sir. I've experienced SF. Fucking moron. Okay. And abortion rights affect me directly. So if we're talking about the American dream that you live, so, why don't I have access to that? Yes, because there's no is, legislation, what? what, in the history of America that legislates a man's body? So why does mine have to be legislated? The draft. I've got a vagina. Yeah. Um, I'm not interested in um, good pull, your genitalia Kevin. are. Clearly True. you are. I mean, it's all over uh, everything I'm, I'm, you make, no, buddy. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate to say it to you, but... I think you can read on my face that I radically am not. Have. I think you can read on my face that I radically am not. When we're talking about abortion... No, I don't. The, the, I mean, you can present it here, but in most of the content that you have, you attack my community constantly. And you don't even realize guys like me Never exist, seen him do that. who actually share a lot of similarities to you and everything, because I'm a married man of 20 years. I'm... I recognize wife. that you exist. I disagree right. with your claim so that you are I a male. So if I was sexually assaulted, right, and I didn't have access to that abortion care, do you believe that I should have carried that ter that child to term because I was sexually to, assaulted? I mean, the, but so no, I just want to make sure that I'm that's what you are around. Because as a transgender man, oh I have God. seen your side of the entire political debate never ever having a conversation <laughs> of what an American freedom is. Because why am I not allowed to live my American freedom as a man? I'm, 
You know, I mean, you get your as, choice as a man, as a man you're, you're, to live you're, you're, and free you're and all really, that. You're really moving around terminology very wildly here. And, it, and so are you, because that's the tactics you play in your game. I, I and mean, you've you, done it the entire time. I, you've jumped from one subject to the next. You speak so fast, and I know how you work, so how does it feel to have it in or your face? Or did she see a ghost? Oh, well, I, I mean... Hmm. Because I'm sick and tired trick. of the shit that this you have put against win. my community, especially black trans yes, women. Yes, 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 because you yes. constantly dis <laughs> disregard Queen. all of our She's needs and then Tim's use the politically as a pawn when we're 1% of the population. Why not focus on the economy itself? All of us are struggling and you want to focus on trans people. You want to focus on but a black does, woman. I've, when you invited me here. I hardly America's ever see a park. And let's give it a woman right when it's all falling apart when we'd had, what, 50 men run it and it looks like shit? Look at where we're at. Um, Truly, so, where, where do you think that we're heading? So, I mean, it's so funny to watch you, like, going white for... supremacy just fall apart the way that it is. <laughs> I love and you this, ride yeah. so this hard. Like, because guess what? In other countries about? around the world, women are not having children. And why is it? Because of the patriarchy and all the violence oh that men yeah. are oh, with, And all of this patriarchy. idea that abortion is somehow going to solve it all by forcing women to have abortion instead of focusing on the real problems that we're facing in our society. We're Who just going to completely ignore that. Abortion? And we're just going to go, you know what? The line item is, Everything let's make this women have babies so that like we can continue this insane. capitalistic society that we have. Why are we doing that? What? That guy's like, but I mean, I'm a why? Because male. you want to push white supremacy and because you want to make your check? It does great for you. Meanwhile, people like me have to live with the consequences of all of your rhetoric Wipe that you put mouth. on a daily yeah, basis. No and including my entire like community. Every time he's about and the to speak. Like, of this black women. A, this isn't a Q&A. Men this is that a, experience this is a monologue. essay. It's yeah. a lecture. Trans people. Yeah. Everyone I am lecturing that comes you. in. And I'm so sick of the idea Stop that you can come in with this barato that you're this then. big guy that knows things because you can talk fast, you have statistics. But really, what does it really matter at <laughs> the end of the day if you are harming and, yeah. the entire you have facts American and statistics? Well, this guy's Why been does that guy of think rape he's a flowered pot? I know. Trump <laughs> in like court documents and you're backing the guy. Like you have children. How could you do that to your own? Don't you have a daughter? Like, what is wrong with you, dude? I've never seen such a party just completely just like the American idea, what we believe in His as a best country, comeback there would have been, is not I what you're perpetuating. Yet, it's diversity. It's giving me the entire hungry and poor. The Google <laughs> phone you have in your pocket Pause. is because of all Pause. of the diversity we've had. Pause. Thank you for finally ending the rant. Pleasure Jesus. to meet you. The other, the oh, other thing that would have been great at Ben Shapiro at the end would have been, why are you mansplaining? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's it, there's a lot of tension in the room now. Uh, there's, there's a lot of let's, tension let's, in the room. Let's stay cordial. So let's this guy thinks he won. Please. Yeah, it's please, like please. no, you just no, made you just, a complete fool out of yourself. Anger. Yeah, it, it was a rant. Yeah. yeah, and and everything that that person that whoever that was was saying that was Shane. <laughs> was, no, it was not me. That was the name of the sh person. Was I don't sh care who the name was. was. Shane. I don't accept that. And Shane. But it was like you can't just make up it, your own name. I'm but sorry. It was everything that was said there was just. Wrong, not correct, like just completely incorrect. But because they said it with gusto and passion. Oh, then they're... yeah, no, that's, that's how you win matters. an argument. And, and you don't let the other person speak. You ask them questions. Fuck but you, don't Tim. Wait, wait, don't. Wait for the there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if <laughs> then you pull the Shapiro and just. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he just gave up at one point. It's just well, like, I, uh, 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 yeah, there was no, <sighs> no. Pause no and anytime there, there was a pause, they would come right back in. Like, yeah, because oh, you could see uh, you could see Shapiro <laughs> leaning forward, about to respond, and then oh, yeah, he again. realized He's this like, is uh, not a discussion. This is basically someone le getting steam. Yeah, off. this is someone yeah. that was waiting to yell at me. Yeah, exactly. And again, that's when I saw that first. I was like, yeah, he just by not saying anything at all, he won that debate. Yeah, pretty much. I you mean, know? there was no debate. I mean, that, it yeah, essentially proved his point. It's not a debate yeah. when. Nobody or when one person speaks, right? Yeah, the debate has to be go both ways, you know. It has and to that's be an the problem with the show, you know, with that no. whatever it's called. Uh, that's not <laughs> how it works. Called anymore. Jubilee Apparently or whatever not. it is. That's the problem with that. Is it's, yeah, it's well, it's, it's not moderated. Ex well, there's no yeah, need to moderate. There's one person that's all right. Let's calm down. Yeah, it? yeah. And it's all right. We're, we're getting a little out of hand here, everybody. Let's let's show some respect. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, you bring yeah. someone in, and, and, and then you have 25 people all around him hissing and spitting at him. Yeah. And, and like they're venomous cobras? Yeah, well, that's yeah, essentially... Much. And he, He's I, in the I snake den. <laughs> there was that um, the guy that did that movie about, uh, Am I Racist? Yeah, Matt Walsh. He, he yeah. was asked, are you going to go do this show? He's like, no, why would I do something yeah. like that? There's mm -hmm. no point in doing anything like that. That's yeah. 
that, here's, that here's doesn't a, do anything. I, I still need to see that because I've heard it was hilarious. Yeah. Real, I still haven't seen it no, yet. Maybe we should all just really go good. see it. That'd be a good thing to go check out. Kevin, what friends are you going to go with instead of us? <laughs> well, pick it's one. not funny. It makes us sad. Uh, I don't think we're going to watch that. <laughs> well, yeah. Actually, all we have it. to do is uh, it's I don't even think it's in theaters anymore, but we can get it on uh, um, we stream Daily that Wire. Shit? Yeah. And then just watch it over here. Yeah. You don't have to watch it at my house. Why not? Because I don't like you guys. <laughs> Tim. I don't want you in my fucking house. Kevin already came on I'm your try, couch. I'm trying to. He came more than on, on my It was couch, all dude. over the living room. That was piss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He peed behind your fridge. That's why it smells. Right, I was actually. I was, I was fapping violently in the living room. Uh, yeah. For he six bled. to eight hours. He was bleeding <laughs> from it. <Yeah. laughs> I'm bleeding. <laughs> I bleed right on your carpet. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Kevin's like, I didn't. The DNA I left in here is all white cells. <laughs> it's just ectoplasm. There was a spooky yeah. ghost here. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kevin saw Slimer. That's uh, all over that? your couch. That's disgusting. Look, um, he only came all the. This is one of the Slimer's reasons why it's hard. You. I need a new couch. And it's one of the reasons why it's hard for me to buy a couch on like Facebook. Because I'm like. I don't know how much comes on this couch. Yeah, how many people have fucked on this? How many assholes have sat on this? Like bear assholes. Yes. Yeah. That's I don't. A good I'm like. Point. Do I need to ring this out first? Yes, you do. You right. definitely do. I mean, that couch right there, I got from a, a Hispanic family a while back. Well, and you know that that's got a lot yeah. of come on it. Family. <laughs> family. Several of them were made on that couch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Probably birthed on that couch. Well, that's the couch they used to get on the raft and float on over here. <laughs> uh oh, we're going to get canceled. I know. I'm in the same boat from as Tony Hinch. Puerto yeah. Rico. <laughs> yes, it was kind of a callback to that. It was. It was a. It's the weave. It Donald okay. Trump calls it the weave. Yeah, I like that. And that, and that oh, yeah, we uh, haven't even talked about that. He talked about that. He's like, hey, the weave's getting kind of big. Let's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. go ahead and bring that back <laughs> in. He's like, oh, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. He's like, yeah. He's like, I got to keep going. Yeah, that was. I didn't get all the way through it, but I mean, it. It's it was. It sounded like an old guy re reminiscing about the good old days. Is what it sounded like to me. What do you he, mean? He, you mean the Joe Rogan one? Yeah. Mm. I don't the think Joe it felt like that. Because Trump was, especially started talking about the White House, because he never really answered Rogan's question. On what being the president what it like. felt like going into the White House yeah. for the first time. Because it, well, well, it was well, he beautiful. Kinda you did. walked in. I saw, I, I wanted to see the room. I wanted to see. He talked about the Lincoln bed. And it was Lincoln a gorgeous bedroom. place. The ceilings were so had a, high. He had, a, he had a big bed. Okay. Yeah. Hallways are 35 Lincoln, feet. Lincoln was a big guy. He had a big bed. And I, I, wanted, I said, look at that. He had a son. Wow, you sound Same. just like him. Tad. Was, if I close my Tad. eyes. It was Tad. Well, know, the funny like, thing is there was a lot of people that pointed Kamala. out that Tad died in, uh, what was it, 1868? Yeah. Five or four years after Lincoln died. So yeah. kind of hard for Lincoln to be sad about his son's death who died after him. At the same time, that's what I mean. A lot of, the, again, I didn't get all the way through the, uh, the, uh, the podcast, but it, uh, it was a lot of that for the first, what, hour of him yeah. just ranting and but, rambling. But you got to yeah. remember, Joe wasn't. But hard. it felt like you were talking to a real person. Yes, right. That's why Joe had him on. That's it's not, why Joe. It, it wasn't to, to talk shows. about politics the whole time. Yeah. No. Joe, when he has political people on, except Dave Smith, he does talk politics a lot with that's Dave Smith. True, that's true. But Dave Smith's kind of a regular, though. He comes on. He is now. It's enough. funny as hell. Yeah. Why well, isn't know. he supposed to have uh, Vance on soon? He's yeah. I don't know. This week he's supposed to have Vance on. Yeah, I saw because yeah. Kamala Politico. canceled. Yeah, Kamala. She, well, Kamala set up her own rules. And yeah, and they, she wanted move. it to be re uh, remote. No, somewhere she else. wanted him to come to her yes. and do like an hour. Or, or remote yeah. and fucking do yeah. an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but then you're just going to have people telling you, don't answer that, right, don't do this, right. and it would have been a fucking shit show. And, and the thing is, Rogan does the show in studio, and he doesn't like, he doesn't no, have anybody so fuck with his, his shit. It's well, his show. Well, first off, yeah. Rogan has done remotes, and he hates them. He's said it numerous times on the show. He's like, those were all mistakes. Yeah. He's like, sure, there were a couple where it's like, that's the only way I'm going to talk to that person, right. the person he was interested in talking to. But outside of those ones, he's like, yeah, they've all been mistakes. They're right. just, it, it's not the same as being in person, being able to actually get the flow of a conversation and talk to somebody. Yeah. How cool it had been, though, if he pulled up a, a jar of that fucking mad honey or maybe like a joint or something like that. Hey, what have you ever done uh, mad honey, uh, Mr. President? 
You ever seen Joe no. Rogan do the Mad Honey with well, that was like uh-uh. on one episode. That would have been fucking hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Offer Trump some. Uh, yeah, no, he, I think the he Mad Honey one, with him? he actually brought the guy on that, like, that's his whole specialty yeah. is that shit. <laughs> well, and it's like, yeah, no. You, try these smelling salts. It's basically yeah. what uh, Homer ate in that one where if you. Oh, no, no, it wasn't on that. It was on fucking uh, uh, Futurama. Fry, if you eat like three, you're fine. Four, you're eh, and then five, you just go into a coma. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically kind of, isn't that what it's supposed to be like? Something like, Something well, no, like they that. said like a, just a uh, half a tablespoon. And you're so, fucking yeah, out, you're, of your you're your mind. out of your mind. Well, you know, Tay, like, too. Dude, I mean, remember just when Elon Musk took that one hit off that joint, dude, it, it like it broke t- the internet well, and, and it, it also fucking tanked it like take his stock. The yeah. stock for like, it was only for like yeah. two days and it rebounded high. Yeah, yeah. But it was like two days of, of a run on that stock on Tesla. And then literally like the third day, I think it was up, I don't know, 5% or yeah. something, ten, uh, yeah. above where it it's fucking wild. dropped. But it was a huge, huge yeah. e- well, effect, you know? Here's the one thing that I think that is brilliant from the Trump campaign, that this is it that they took a, a page from the book that Obama used when Obama did it with social media. Obama yeah. used social media to get the word out, get the vote, you know, all that shit, right? Yeah. Trump's now doing it with podcasts because podcasts are huge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's the new social media because and, it's not controlled by right. major media. No. Well, know, and, and, and it doesn't need to be yeah. edited a bunch. Exactly. Fucking and and also, not only that, it's long form. So you get to know a person a lot better on long form rather than doing like some five minute segment or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. Where, you we know, get to know that Kevin dressed as Fingham of the Opera. That's true. That's true. <laughs> You're gonna hey have to find. Fellas. You're gonna have to find that one. But uh, uh fifty-six you know, but, minutes. But, but uh, podcasts. Fifty-six minutes. Podcasts are. Uh, <laughs> podcasts are taking over. Uh, and and they, I think yeah, honestly, the, within the next well, within the next year or two, I really do think that the po- that podcast that we won't have podcasts anymore because no. AI is gonna take it over. No, no, yeah, you're right. No, I think that like <laughs> presidential debates and things like that. Oh, I be think they're gonna be more commonly yeah. done on podcasts. Yeah, and, and then those like are gonna that. be controlled more. away. From, no, I actually think it's getting away from the mainstream. I, th- I, I think, think the I think losing Tim's their grip. I think t- you're both right. I think at first it's gonna be that way, but it's going to eventually end up the way that you're talking about, where. That's where all the power lies, so all the powerful people are already there now. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Uh, media companies are going to start their own podcast. Well, they've already done that. It's not It's not going as well as they thought it yeah. would because people don't trust those fucking names. They're going to change names and put new faces out yeah, there, we're gonna need and it's a still going to be controlled. face that we yeah. can control. But, I mean, like, th- wasn't there that whole debacle of like Kamala going on the Call Her Daddy podcast? Yeah, which and it is was just basically, a, basically sex- a scripted fucking yeah. show that she did. But it's, it's a that. sex podcast. It's like women talking about giving blowjobs and shit. That's what yeah, the show's yeah. normally about. And she likes riding cowgirl. Yeah, yeah. Great. So she Is that, that what she, Kamala said? Yeah. No, yeah, but that... Ugh. She got criticized for going on that podcast because... Well, Joe podcast Brown did like that, I'll bet. Probably. What it is. Um, but Wait, like, What did you say? It was probably important. Go ahead. Uh, we talk over <laughs> you, Kevin. <laughs> you are. That's what we do. Yeah, I know. That's, I know. This is my favorite uh, part, is watching the disappointment just show up in his face <laughs> when I go, oh, that was probably important. Say it again, Kevin. <laughs> the audience caught it. Anyway, so... No, they didn't. Uh, they no, don't care So either. now, uh, Kamala went on Club Shay Shay, I guess, is the podcast. Instead of fucking Rogan, Instead which would have been fucking huge. And Club Shay Shay got like 300,000 views, which if she would have gone on Rogan, she would have gotten millions of views. Like the... Well, the but Trump Shannon one got Sharp, like thirty million or something. Uh, uh, to be could have gotten more. To be fair yeah. for Shannon Sharp or to Shannon Sharp, he has had some podcasts that have been that have fucking had. Get tre- it out. Tre- oh, yeah. Tremendous views. Tremendous views. Uh, lots of views. There we no, go. But, but I mean, and that's true. I mean, he is a big podcast for the tremendous uh, thing, but uh, not anywhere near Joe Rogan. He's had some episodes uh, that have been very, very big. Like the uh, Cat Williams one was gigantic. Oh yeah, I remember that one. You, That's but there's yeah, been a yeah, couple. Yeah. It's there not a been, lot. Yeah, yeah. You're but right, I mean the right. uh, Cat Williams one was the podcast that we're talking about. Shannon Sharp. Yeah. Does Club Shannon Shay Sharp. Shay? The show's called Club like. Shay Shay. Ex pro football player. Yeah. Um. And uh. But yeah, the Cat Williams episode that one was, was huge. That was huge. Uh. And in, and actually, it was the reason that Cat Williams ended up on Rogan. Yeah, because Rogan was like, yeah. I don't know why this guy doesn't like me. I love Cat Williams. Right, right. You know, and, I've never uh, been a huge fan of, of Cat Williams. Yeah, it's just not my style. Yeah, but I mean, he's he did great on both shows. You know, um, but yeah, like, I don't like his, I don't like his comedy. Yeah. comedic but style. Uh, it's just not my style. Yeah. You know, she's been doing these smaller like the there was the one that was like uh I'd never even heard of it. It was like all the smoke. It was like two basketball players or something. Well, like the, that. but that's the thing. She's doing uh 
So the demographic she's having the most trouble with is the demographic that Rogan has. Yes. That's the one that she's doing the worst with. Yeah. By yeah. far. And mm-hmm. her saying no to it is fucking crazy. Yeah. Absolutely. But I think well, it's because no. she knows. She didn't say no. No, she oh, did. Well, that's the narrative they're going with. She made yeah. it to. She basically made it to where L- Rogan would never no. do it that way. Yeah, because she's not. She has. I don't know. To I've seen enough articles saying that she said no to it because she doesn't want to go and do it in Austin, even though he offered her when she was in Texas. Anytime you're free. Yeah. Anytime. Of course. If but you're she's free, never going to go because she's And I don't scared. care if it's at midnight. Yeah, she can't wear her earrings, and she can't have someone give her answers. Yeah, well, she can't the, the go other problem three is, hours like Trump I was going to say, yeah. the other problem is she if her going an hour, I think she can hold it together. Yeah. Right? But Maybe, her going yeah. three hours of just an yeah, unscripted... Yeah, she'll slip up and say something she's not yeah, supposed to. Yeah, absolutely. Well, dude, she went from fucking being anti-gun to being like, uh, Trump's going to take away guns. I like guns. <laughs> and, well, yeah. that the, and the borders. Like, she went to let them in to, we're going to secure the border. We're going to boost up yeah. uh, Border Patrol. We're it's gonna, crazy. We're going to... And know, she can never sure. answer You're the like, question of, weren't why you didn't charge you do it? it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they've asked her numerous yeah. times, and I've and never she always, seen an answer. she always... Dodges I was it. raised yeah. in a middle class family. Yeah. And I worked at McDonald's. First yeah. thing. How's first that for of your all, order? Let's, let's, <laughs> let's make this thing clear that I was raised in a middle class family. Oh, I thought you yeah. said, what was my order? Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it's. it's yeah, yeah, she always is, uses the same fucking talking points and the same thing. It's just over and over. I really and over hope and people again. see that about her. But oh, they are. They're they, making fun of her for it. There, uh, there have been a lot of more rumblings of, and people kind of bowing out from what she's saying yeah and i, I like mean, what hell. someone else pointed about trump's campaign as well there's others that are saying i'm not voting just for trump i'm voting for the people that are with him yeah that's why i am you it's know what i mean it's not just him. trump i mean trump's got his faults don't get me wrong well, yeah. the guy's like do you know what kamala he, said when it comes to tim waltz huh well i was really sleep deprived when i picked that's him. what she said uh, about uh, not as a joke uh, that's what she said about yeah, it yeah yeah that she was she, really sleep deprived. So, so she actually Oopsies, admitted. I was tired. Uh, she's actually. I pulled a Roseanne. That yeah. she's uh, having second thoughts about a running mate. Well, it was I'm, a terrible pick in the first place. Well, we oh, all yeah. know that, but yeah. for having her admitted that, yeah. that's pretty wild, yeah. dude. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, I, I like how a lot of the the well, the, the newspapers are also like. Oh, I, I was just going to go there. Yeah, because uh, WAPO, uh, Washington Post, refused to um, endorse her yeah. or anybody, which this is the first time in like fucking thirty or forty years that they haven't. Um, and Re- refused to endorse either. Either, yeah. And but, that's and, basically an endorsement for Trump. I mean, well, I, but I put it this way because uh, not to interrupt, quit too because yeah. the the Teamsters mm-hmm. who uh, traditionally have always voted Democratic, yeah, always supported Democratic. And this year, they put out a petition to all their, you know, to all their Teamster union members, and so who who are we voting for this year? This year, they they decided not to support either. You want to know why? Because the majority of their union members wanted to vote for Trump and voted for Trump in their in their campaign and well yeah but you also yeah. remember the head of the union said that they were for trump too yeah, yeah. but you can't uh you know you can't have a, well, a traditionally uh, democratic voting yeah. group say hey we're now for trump well also during they lose the, a lot of of their their funding from yeah. the democratic voter you know mm-hmm. voter uh, supporters or whatever so well, what was also it's the easier just to say no uh, uh the teamsters were invited the teamsters were invited to the uh trump event or their rnc or whatever and then the other the DNC would not allow them to come. Yeah. They did not invite them, which was kind of the Teamsters. That really pissed them off. Seems uh, weird. But yeah. you would think they would endorse a candidate. Yeah. So that's what I mean. A lot of these groups that are saying we're not endos- endorsing are. Endorsing. Endorsing. <laughs> we're not endorsing. Oida, <laughs> endorsing <laughs> our, either of them are basically saying, well, because a lot of our group is supporting the person that we're not supposed to support, yeah. we're going to not support either of them. I think that's uh, it's either a, of them. It's a it's a Trump endorsement, in my opinion, when they say they won't support either. I don't think that's, that's how okay. I look yeah. at it. I mean, well, I, you're I a weird person. Well, if you got a group that's traditionally gone de- Democratic, their whole like the Washington Post. Yeah. And this year they're not they're undecided, or not supporting either. Come on. I well, it is a big deal. It is a big deal. That's I what I'm saying. I think it's actually more of a strike on the Democratic side than it is it a definitely, support for the other side. It definitely is. It's um, saying that we have no confidence in this person that, you, that yeah. the, the Democratic side has put forward. Yeah. And so, in doing so, doesn't does, that support? Not, I wouldn't a, say it's, it's an endorsement support. outright for because Trump. Because support is but support. It's, it, it is. I, I would have to agree with him on this. It's it's more of a smack in the face. Yeah, to I'm the right. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but um you know uh, but yeah also <laughs> wapo for instance they a uh, bunch of people like people have quit from there uh journalists uh people are canceling their subscriptions yeah, mark I heard hamill yeah here. <laughs> like quit you're like i'm i'm getting rid of my washington post subscription oh yeah. no mark you hamill. didn't you yeah, didn't but these, kamala you got to remember these are all all the same people that in 2016 said i'm moving to canada yeah. if trump wins well some of them and are not still one fucking it. moved yeah well, so, well, uh, Rob Reiner said he would set himself on fire this time if if uh, Trump wins, which I really want to see that. Yeah, but he realized with all <laughs> that fat, pull a gun on him too. Some sort of environmental hazard. <laughs> yeah. So why not? He walked over my punchline. Put the fire down. <laughs> Put the fire down, mine sir. Was better. I don't know if it was. I, I love Princess it. Bride. You piece of shit. It was a good movie. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen it. Twenty-five fucking thousand dollars <laughs> for sides? In- inconceivable. Five dollars. Mm-hmm. Have fun storming the castle. Bye bye, boys. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I don't know what your references are. Well, it's all right. You're not supposed to. No, I know what they are. I mean, it's got Carrie, whatever his name is. Carrie Elwes. Ills. Ills. I am not intended. Man, my paint's wearing off of these. It's also got uh, Andre the Giant. Yes. Anybody want a peanut? Anybody want a peanut? Yeah. Didn't he have the (laughs) record at like a bar for drinking the most ever by a person? Uh, Probably. Uh, uh, Have you seen what a uh, uh, what a can of beer looks like in his hand? Would look like. This well, Hulk Hogan hand. tells this story about going cross country with him when they were wrestling. Oh, he already drank like yeah. two cases uh, yeah. when the, before they got in the car. Before, yeah, exactly. He would just fucking down him. Like the guy drank, he could have drank fucking giant well, buckets. Yeah, his liver's the stuff. size of a fucking whale. Yeah. Well, that that and he was also in a lot tremendous of pain. pain all the time. Yeah, all the yeah. time he was in pain because a mix of uh, his uh, what uh, genetics, genetic condition yeah. Yeah. that he had. And then on top of it, from the wrestling. Yeah. So you add those two together, and he was just fucking a guy yeah. walking in pain yeah. constantly. I get it. Like, a lot of the wrestling that he did in, in his prime, he was in so much pain out there that he had to do different things than what they were originally going to do. Right. I'm yeah. just making shit up now. No, actually, so, I believe it. I, yeah. I've heard I, something like that, though. That, that does sound actually kind of right, though. I, th- I, I think... Uh, Vaguely, I, I yeah. remember stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. Because it got to the point when, like, towards the end, like, where if you watch some of those later matches, he's literally just, like, grabbing a guy and throwing him. Like, because he can't do much else. Yeah. He's just in just in agony. We should end with that reporter uh, getting shot by the guy anti-gunning. What? Remember? Do Never you mind. have that pulled up still? I thought it was pulled up. That's why no. I was saying the anti-gun person shot a reporter in the fucking head. No, no, it wasn't. Is that in? <laughs> is that in here? In, is that? In, <laughs> it's that one. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. My arm. <laughs> my my face. I got shot. Why is it over there? My yeah. my arm. Weird. Uh, here we All go. right. So this guy, this Watch guy was your, doing yeah. a demonstration on guns and supposed to be like <laughs> anti-gun. Just to prove his point, he shot a reporter. Wow. <laughs> nice fella. This is why guns are bad. Look. <laughs> Bang. How's your arm, fucking douchebag? <laughs> I like how they're putting the tourniquet above. Uh, is that below the fucking injury? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? It does. Well, the blood is probably throwing it off because it might be You're not supposed to that. do tourniquets anymore. That's shit. not true. Tourniquets are fucking a, a lifesaver, dummy. No pressure on the on the. No, it depending it on what on how you do it, it, it depends on the type of bleeding. Arterial bleeding, you want to get a tourniquet on it. Is that arterial bleeding? It could be. Below not, the fucking below the, the elbow. You have arteries so in your fucking it. fingers, sorry, dummy. So that was it. Lie. So that right there, I guess. It, it, Ended that's up the getting, aftermath. Yeah, that's the aftermath. He Terrible. ended up getting fucking uh, hit by a ricochet. So the guy was shooting. I, d- I don't know what it was. I, it might have been an AR-15, a gun? but oh. it was some sort of uh, some sort of firearm. However, but he he was shooting it at steel targets. Like you usually shoot like fifty yards with steel targets right. or further with like an AR-15 because it shoots so fucking fast and all that shit, and you don't want it to ricochet and hit you. Well, they were shooting at like fifteen feet. Yeah. yeah, I did that once yeah. with an AK and a rock. Yeah, that that's really what I'm saying. It's idea. not a good idea no, at that close no. range. It reminds me of the guy that was shooting a 50 cal, and he's like, yeah, we made fucking iron core bullets. And he shoots it, and it fucking, all you hear is, 
and then it takes his fucking earphones off. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. <laughs> he got lucky as fuck because you could hear it flying by extremely fast. <laughs> they shot it downrange. It hit like that a pile of rocks. Fucker just thinking oh, about dude, that. It was That's insane. fucking wild. It was, and it was a 50 cal. Yeah. So even if it's lost half of its fucking energy, yeah, it's, still, it's still enough to take the fucking head. That's going to eliminate part of that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. It's Woo. fucking crazy. I, yeah, yeah, but I figured yeah. we'd end with that because yeah. I thought it was fucking interesting. Oh, you gotta get it didn't really say much. I don't remember who the guy was. See if we can find who the guy was. Or do you want to end it? Uh, Let's just call it. I don't fucking care. Ah, fuck it. We'll end it. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the show. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. I didn't even know it was Halloween. Have fun voting. Be safe. You're so full of shit. (laughs) No shit, Kevin. That was a joke. It was a lie. Vote, vote, vote. Yeah, and if you, you do, for, don't, worry, don't worry. We're just going to catch them on fire. Go fight, It man. was Tim that had the bull Yeah, hopefully. Goodbye, everybody. Rob Reiner, yeah.